Hello guys, welcome to another log of Digimon Vital Bracelet BE and for today's log we have Mochimon so yeah, um, Power 1 has evolved to Mochimon and uh, as usual, we will start with the origin and etymology of his name but before I continue with that uh, just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets you've come to the right channel because this channel focuses on raising Digimon and I upload at least twice a week so if you like such content, go ahead and squeeze the like and subscribe button like Mochimon here and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's log. We have Mochimon. Uh, etymology and origin of his name needs not much explanation. If you have eaten the dessert Mochi, I think <laughs> that is where it got its name from. It's like the dessert Mochi and it's uh, squishy like Mochi. So, um... <laughs> but for some reason, they had to modify the name a little bit in the English dark version, they call it Motimon. But I prefer to call it Mochimon. Um, and yeah, in terms of its profile, it's a mollusk like Digimon with highly elastic skin. Motimon uses the protrusions beneath its body to waggle its way around. The name Motimon comes from its resemblance to Mochi when it puffs up its body in excitement. Despite its appearance, Motimon possesses a surprisingly high degree of intelligence and so is believed to have developed from a computer dictionary. Capable of understanding human language, Motimon can occasionally be seen altering the shape of his body in an effort at communication. Motimon uses his mochi-like elastic bubbles to restrict opponents' movements. Very cool. I like that. Interesting profile. And I like being able to read his profile on the codex itself. Now it's time to see Sprite on the bracelet. I'm trying to send it back to the bracelet. And before we do that, I just gotta do some administrative things on Mojimon. We have quite a lot of stats items that we can give him a boost that will allow me to train him up really quickly. So we're gonna give this maybe like boost him up to 800 here on his AP. And we're gonna boost him up on his. Uh, HP as well. Let's see. BP, we can leave it. It's easy to train BP. We want to train our HP. Let's say HP. Yeah, let's go. And um, yeah, four. Why not? And here we have um, four AP. And then to give him some vital points. Got a lot of vital drinks here. It'd be good to just use some of them where all the XL vital drinks I uh, no, XXL we have a ton of those let's just boost him up all the way till um, 9000 shall we alright we yeah. have 5000 should be more than enough for his evolution and we'll get higher vital values anyway when he's a rookie so that should be good enough and uh, let's send him back to the bracelet there we go vital bracelet and setting this process is painful I can't, I can barely remember this process anyway see you on the bracelet motimon yeah gotta click gotta be careful gotta wait till the device is ready before we can scan otherwise it will jeopardize this thing and here we go see you on the bracelet motimon all right, and here we have Motimon on the bracelet. I think it looks cute, super cute. And slightly technical, but I decided to uh, notice that I changed the backdrop to this forest again because I decided to change my upcoming evolution line. Um, and this is getting a little technical in terms of raising Digimon. You might want to consider this as well. If you see, there's a lock evolution and there is this Digimon that I can evolve to and of course I was spoiler alert going to raise Tentomon in my uh, original plan first because that would be fun and I like Tentomon a lot and look at Tentomon sprite I think it looks great it looks so cute I can't wait to raise him but unfortunately I strategically should raise um, uh, this little dude first why if you look at his stats it is extremely similar to the lock evolution. So you see the lock evolution here requires 5 PP and 1000 vital points. And this guy requires 5 PP 
and 500 vital points. It means that the only difference here is the vital values, 500 and 1000. And honestly, it's very easy to get, you know, uh, 1000 vital values when you're moving from baby to rookie. It's super easy. So there's a good chance that while I'm trying to evolve into Lila, I mean, the, I can't remember his name. Like those who are fans of this Digimon are gonna hammer me. But yeah, if I don't raise him now, before I unlock this Digimon evolution via adventure mode, I'm gonna have a hard time trying to raise him again. So I have to raise him before that evolution gets, gets unlocked. Because once it gets unlocked, every time I get five PP, there's a good chance I'm gonna evolve into this rookie here, the one that is still locked for now. So I strategically should quickly raise this Digimon and then document this and go on my merry way to clear the adventure mode and unlock any other evolutions. Um, and then going forward, even if I evolve into this, it's fine because I've already documented this, right? So this same advice goes for any other BE memory that has the same situation where you have the same rookie Digimon tied in terms of stats, in terms of its PP. You have a very close stats uh, it's always better to evolve into the lower evolution form first and then clear and unlock the, ev the, the harder evolution uh, forms because there's a good chance the next time when you're trying to aim for the lower evolution form you will have a hard time getting it because you're always going to get the higher evolution form I think a lot of people are facing the same problem with the Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode Dragon Mode versus Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode on the Imperial Dramon Dim. Right, you if you have unlocked Imperial Drama on Paladin mode, it's very difficult to get Fighter Mode and Dragon Mode uh, right because of their stats issue. So always evolve the lower evolution form first before you unlock the higher evolution form via adventure mode. So very technical detail, but that's something that I plan to do, and that's why I'm gonna evolve into that flower rookie. I can't remember his name. I don't know why I can't remember his name, but yeah. We will feature it in the next log anyway because that's upcoming. So yeah, let's look at uh, Mochimon. Mochimon is getting sad because he's not getting any vital values. And it's been so long, I've been using this so much. Come on, look at this. Like, why is the battery dropping so fast? Like, seriously? I just charged it. Like, why, why is this battery dropping so fast? Do I need a new one? Oh man, this is so sad. The vital bracelet bees. Life is so short. But anyway. Um, let's uh, look at this. Idol, this is idle animation. I'm gonna trigger that walking animation. Not sure if I'm doing it right. Come on. Let's see the walking animation. I'm gonna go to walking animation. I'm gonna do the walking animation. I'm gonna walk. Is that you walking? Ah, oh, that's his walking. That's his walking. See, he's swinging his hands a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. This is walking animation. That's cool. That, that's how you walk. You swagger, you swagger. That's him. That's that's him just idling with his hands going up and then that's him walking. See that walking again. Alright, he's got a bit of swag there. Um let's see the training animation. Got a punch. Got a punch dude. Got a punch. Got a punch hard. Alright, it's just like cheering. Is that punching? That's cheering man. That's not punching. And yeah, we need to we need to get some um uh, training done as well might as well do this oh no it's not worth it it's not worth it why i haven't activated the super useful item i forgot we have the item of three times the stats and we need to do that all right that's his dash animation as well the dash looks like his walking animation they're just reusing here aren't they all right but yeah it looks a little more vigorous than the walking i guess so that's his dash animation we've got that down um yeah Walking and dashing looks almost the same. Um, let's see the sleeping animation. And there's no battle because it's a baby mode, you can't battle. That's a sleeping animation. And that's it for today's log. If you haven't already, please go ahead and squeeze the like and subscribe button like you're squeezing Mochimon and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.